Hello, Boring View Nation, Gabe, Nick, and we are here today to bring you another reaction fresh off the presses. This guy is a glutton for punishment, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why, because of yes. course, of course, he had to come back with another Beatles song, and it's like, I, I don't Absolutely. know, just poke it a bear, poke it a bear. And he came back with the pirate outfits, although no. he loves to prove me wrong. So, Nick, go ahead. <laughs> so, gloat, gloat. We are checking out the title song, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart, Hearts Club Band, from the, the same name of the album. Came out in, what, 67 or something like that. And this is a concept that Paul McCartney came up with, and it's an Edwardian military band <sighs> concept. Now... Who, like, after some time off, comes back and, like, you know, I was thinking about this, you know, period era of military <laughs> outfit for it. I mean, I don't know who comes up with it. And it still looks like pirate outfits to me. I'm just saying. They're very colorful. That Yeah, that does not look like an actual military on the field outfit. Like, even if you watch, have you ever seen the movie Turn? Not the movie, the, but the television show Turn? Mm -mm. about uh, Benedict Arnold. He was basically, it was on the History Channel or AMC, and basically it talks about like the spies of the Revolutionary War, and it gives us like a flip, like Benedict Arnold was like a, a double agent basically or whatever, and there's like some evidence to that. Written by his great, great, great <laughs> granddaughter. <laughs> but like even the British outfits then, they looked like really distinguished, but they were all like a specific color, you know what I mean? And they're, they had the, like the patches on there, the red coats or whatever. But when I looked at this, I was like, bro, he got a yellow jacket. It didn't have the pink. He got a yellow, yellow but that, that looks like the, pirate stuff, man. Periwinkle? Periwinkle blue. So <laughs> while this guy tries to control himself, we're going to go ahead and check out. He's going to listen to this song for the very first time. If you're just joining us right now, I introduced him to a song he hasn't heard of before that's either a classic or really, really close to. And the Beatles is one of those bands he doesn't know too much about. So we're going to check it out. Let, me, let us know in the, in, in the comments, too. You might be a Beatles fan. But if this is because actually some people are like, what? I never even heard of that song before. Some of my family members that, you oh. know, might watch the video. It's not everyone knows, like, all Beatles are, dude, they're diverse. And they have a lot of music. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? 90% of adults. <laughs> <laughs> most adults <laughs> so you know what I mean let us know in the comments if this is the first time you might have heard this song like oh wow I never heard this song before yeah. Just, that way I don't feel like I'm on an island <laughs> it's, it's, it's crickets in the comment section right now <laughs> so we're gonna check this out don't if forget, you like our reaction don't forget to like and subscribe you said it's crickets in the comment section and you know for, for the sheltered layers out there we hope you enjoy this easy there <laughs> Sure, we're not the only ones. Unsubscribe, unsubscribe. <laughs> Here we go. Two minutes. Two minutes, Chuck. It's two minutes. Is that Marilyn Monroe in there? Interesting how that just came in the one speaker, the one headphone. What is going on? I always wonder like what they're laughing at. Is this doing. like a live recording or like intro like to the tour? Yeah, but it must be a live recording.
Oh, no, there's a few more seconds there. I'm not sure why it cut out right there. But, uh, but yeah, very short. Think of it as like just like an intro track. There's still albums today that have intro tracks yeah. that are shorter or this or that. A lot of rap albums that I've noticed also yes. have those kind of, like, whether it's a skit or like a 16 second this or that. Yeah. Um, so it's like their intro track right there. Right. But it's got a nice, nice little guitar there at the beginning. Right. Um, I like, uh, I think it's John Lennon really belting out the lyrics. Um, I love I love that song. Very short. You know what? Well, it's funny. When you first gave me two minutes, in the back of my mind, that was two minutes Turkish. Let us know if you know where that reference is from. Two minutes Turkish. Two minutes. It's obsessed with it. <laughs> One of my favorite films. Yes. Uh, but, um, dude, <laughs> when you gave me the two minutes, I was like, here goes another jingle. <laughs> I, you I know that's what I was thinking. Because that's why you pointed it out. Here goes another jingle. But, dude, it was more rock and roll. Like you said, they were actually yeah. like, Sergeant Peppers, like yelling it out. And they had the guitar. But then the crowd came out. I was like, wait, is this live? But now you it, it makes sense that you explain it to more of a skit. So they or an intro, so they kind of put it together. And I loved it. I, You know what? I think that this is like, maybe... Glutton for punishment, nothing. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Like, like that. A, that's that rock, that I, that hard rock I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? And it was super creative. The lyrics, again, still, who is... He said, let me introduce you to... I don't know who Billy Shears is. Billy always Shears. Wondered. I'm not sure if that's like a percussionist or someone else that's just on the stage with them or if they actually had stage names for this band. I have no idea. Well, I heard... That's what I was going to ask you. Who's Billy Shears? Because he's part of that conspiracy. Look up... Uh, oh, gosh. I, dude, it's out is there. Is Paul? I don't know if it's He's like, oops, Paul. I let it slip, and then we put it on the album. Yes. <laughs> so much for the secret. Billy Shears. So if that was Lennon, he said, let me introduce you to Billy Shears. I think that's the fake Lennon. He's going to look, yes! I, I finally know. got him going down I the conspiracy rabbit hole. Who <laughs> is Billy Shears? <laughs> oh, man. From Sgt. Pepper. I, I, I think that that's his... Uh, a, Ringo Starr? A Ringo Starr? Which Beatles Billy Shears... Um, so then oh, here you go, Billy, <laughs> Paul McCartney's replacement. So we know about Billy Shears, who in the album is supposed to be Ringo's alias. Okay. okay. He even has a lyric later, I'm the greatest, saying I'm Billy Shears. But in Yellow Submarine, John is Billy Shears, and he was the one that wrote I'm the greatest for Ringo. Lastly, the memoirs of Billy Shears and the association with Paul as a presenter in the first song of Sgt. Pepper's. Okay. So just his alias. His alias, Billy Shears. <laughs> oh, okay. Why do 95% of the fan base seem to think that Paul is Billy? I mean... Thank you! Reddit! Thank you! I'm not alone on the yeah, island! Okay. Reddit is such a reputable <laughs> source for real news, not just jokes. Real news. Okay, listen. If it's on Reddit, it must be true. <laughs> My son, I remember telling me that one time. It was like, Dad, it's on the internet. It must be true. I was like, oh, God. You failed him. <laughs> I failed in you life. You failed him. But... Okay, so I know that that's maybe where I, where I had heard in one of those videos going down the rapper hero about they mentioned it, even put it in the song that, oh, Billy Shears, new Paul McCartney. In any event, uh, dude, I think that to me, this is more what I consider rock and roll. Like that hard, like McCartney just, you know, blurting it out, you know, and even the soft rock. This is more the music of, of my speed. The, the old jingly, even when sometimes they bring in that satire, is it called? Sitar. It, sitar, whatever. It, it's like... Oh, stop it. You're disrespectful. No, nah, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just saying it's not you, rock and roll. You are disrespectful right now. I don't mean to be, but in I'm just saying... the words of Gabe, you shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. Let us know if you guys enjoyed this. Let us know if you know any more about... Oh, here, I, I'm going to drive you crazy in the comment section. Please let him know about the, 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 the conspiracy. Please let him know that we're not on an island alone and I'm not crazy. He's getting a phone call. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. We know all things.